head into Staten Island. All to the top. Shopping Walgreens where it's easy to find great gifts like Limp Blender Truffles and toys from brands like Disney. And most stores are open till midnight. Walgreens at the corner of Happy and Healthy. I'm Mav Ward, an extra port at 451 on 1010. Yeah. Time for 42 on a day when school resumed for most of Newtown. Two more funerals were held. As the church bells tolled here at St. Rose of Lima, tears streaming down the faces of family and friends who had to say goodbye to two more six-year-old innocent children, James Mattioli and Jessica Ricos. For trained first responders like Police Lieutenant Jim Perez, the emotion of this day, too much for them to handle. Tears you down to the very fabric, the very fabric of your being. And I know we're all human, so we have a job to do. But when you see something like this, it's overwhelming. There are no words. Jessica's family recalling her love of horses. She had hoped for a new cowgirl hat for Christmas. Her first grader, James Mattioli, his favorite thing at the end of the day was to clutch his fleece blanket and lay on a couch with his mother. Glenn Shuck, 1010 wins, Newtown, Connecticut. Wednesday time, 443. The White House says President Obama is actively supportive of efforts on Capitol Hill to reinstate the assault weapons ban. Although he has long supported that measure, he never worked to push it through his first term. Spokesman Jay Carney says he also backs other legislative issues. He supports uh, and would support legislation that addresses the problem of the so-called show loophole. Uh, and there are other uh, elements of gun law legislation, gun legislation that, that we could support. Senator Dianne Feinstein of California plans to introduce a measure to reinstate the assault rifle ban next year. And we're hearing from the National Rifle Associ Association for the first time since the massacre in Newtown. The NRA issued a statement today saying it is prepared to offer meaningful contributions to prevent more violence like that which occurred in Connecticut. The NRA says it will be holding a news conference in Washington this Friday on the one-week anniversary of the shooting. Wins this time 444 Sports in one minute on 1010 Wins. Hi, Mom. Did you like your gift? A panini maker? Son, you've really outdone yourself this time. But I thought that... You don't like my sandwiches? No, no, no. Your father thought it was a spaceship. What? Jill, I've told you, just get me a vanilla gift card. It's one card I can use almost anywhere, and it gives me a million options. It's not rocket science. Here we go. The vanilla gift card. Available at CVS, Office Depot, Family Dollar, and other retailers near you. Vanilla Visa and MasterCard gift cards are issued by the Bank or Bank of FDIC, distributed and serviced by ITC Financial License Bank, a licensed money transmitter by the New York State Department of Financial Services, Domestic Youth Only. Does that guy look suspicious to you? Who? The one up front with the coat and backpack. He's been looking around nervously since he got on. Yeah, he keeps looking around, but not at anyone. He's fidgeting, and his hands are in his jacket pockets. What are you doing? I'm texting against Terror. Why take a chance? Just text your message to NJTPD. That's NJTPD, and the New Jersey Transit Police are alerted to suspicious activity. I have it bookmarked in my contacts. Don't hesitate. A moment's delay may be a moment too late. If you observe suspicious activity, report it immediately to 1-888-TIPS-NJT. Stay alert. Stay alive. Wednesday is time, 4.45, now 10.10 when sports is sponsored by Warner Brothers Argo. Here's Doug Thompson. You know, the reception you would have gotten from Jet fans at MetLife Stadium this Sunday if Mark Sanchez was still the team starting quarterback would have been absolutely brutal, but it's not going to be an issue for Sanchez. With his performance in last night's loss in Tennessee, which eliminated the Jets from playoff contention, Sanchez has finally played himself out of a job, at least for the rest of this season. Rex Ryan is named Greg McElroy, the starting QB. McElroy gets the nod over Tim Tebow. Ryan is about to address reporters on the matter. Now we'll see if Sanchez is still active in a backup role or if that will go to Tebow. NBA tonight, the Nets in action in Brooklyn. They take on the Utah Jazz, looking to bounce back from Saturday's loss in Chicago. Nets have dropped four of their last five games at Barclays Center. Brooke Lopez, after being limited to 24 minutes each of his last two games, will have his minutes increased tonight and tomorrow night when the Nets visit the Knicks. Knicks are off tonight. They say Amari Stoudemire has been cleared to practice. Still not sure when he'll return to the lineup, but it could be as soon as this weekend. Stoudemire has said he would be fine with coming off the bench if that's what the team needs. Ari Dickey was officially introduced as a member of the Blue Jays today. Dickey said he was sad about leaving the Mets, but excited to be joining an organization that is committed to winning. He also apologized for the comments he made at the Mets' holiday party last week when he expressed disappointment in the contract negotiations with the Mets. Sports at 15 and 45 around the clock. Doug Thompson, 1010 wins sports. It's creeping up their walls, and they've had enough. The story in one minute wins this time, 447. Lions of our people in Iran are at stake. It's going to take a miracle to get them out. At least they will be taken. Probably not alive. Top critics 